you're still trying to convince your shareholders to go along with this plan. Do you remain hopeful? What can you, what can you say to convince them at this late stage? Well, absolutely. I'm very confident because, you know, 75% of the shareholders uh, and many of them that I've seen are very positive about this deal. One, because it is a massive synergies, 3.1 billion Swiss franc synergies. Two, it's a project where we create a new converged player in telecommunications that can truly take market share from the incumbent. And thirdly, we, the board of Sunrise has, has promised to, to go to the General Assembly next year and even increase the dividend and then have a uh, dividend growth of 4 to 6 percent beyond 2020. So I'm very confident indeed, especially based on the conversations I've had with different investors. And what was great news actually today, we just got uh, a Swiss proxy advisor, Etos, to also support and recommend to shareholders to support the uh, the deal i always think when the smartest guy in the room is selling i don't want to be buying i mean he's got to have a reason he wants to get rid of this underperforming asset so he can focus on things that make money for him john malone i'm, I'm referring to of course why do you think it's a good idea to pick it up well it's, it's a very good idea because i can offer with the upc cable infrastructure in switzerland i can have 90 percent of the households in switzerland in less than 18 months um, receive a one gigabit internet at their home. Imagine, <laughs> imagine that. Uh, that is a unique capability that allows us to differentiate ourselves in the market. Secondly, as the telecommunications market is maturing, it is important to have a larger customer base where you can cross-sell, upsell, and have fundamentally more products to the same customer. With this deal, we double the size of our customer base. And lastly, it allows the investment uh, potential of this company to gain market share becomes simply much, much larger. We will have nearly a half a billion Swiss franc a year that we can invest in, um, in the right assets to drive market share gains across the business okay. market as well as the consumer market. Okay, so it sounds as if you're convincing some of the shareholders, Olaf, but Freenet still standing firm in th with their objections. What's your relationship with Freenet like? Are they engaging with you at this time? Well, the interesting thing is Freenet initially supported the project and, even, and, and also supported the price and then made a U-turn basically February this year. This was a big surprise to the board and to the management of Sunrise, but it had probably a lot to do with their own issues and financial challenges. Um, since then, they have come with a lot of different arguments, but fundamentally, their arguments are not right, and other shareholders are clearly choosing the camp of the management and the board because it, the synergies make sense, the industrial logic is there, and the, the dividend growth that is promised by the new company is very attractive.